Toey Boat started uh, about nine years ago. Uh, I'm a former Keys guide, Everglades guide, and was living at the time back and forth between Tennessee and the Florida Keys. We saw a need out there for a uh, skiff that could do a lot of things and do them all very well. We needed something that was really a high performer in shallow water. Uh, it had to be tough. It had to be stable with big guys in it. It had to be something you could walk around and cast off of. Uh, at the same time, it also had to be good crossing open water because we knew we had to cross a lot of open water to get to shallow water in the environments we were fishing in. And it especially had to be tough. I mean, we may take the same boat that we're fishing for laid up tarpon in one week and that very next week have that boat you know, up into Tennessee uh, fishing for stripe or smallmouth on a rocky river. That same boat may be up in Wisconsin two weeks later up into Canada fishing for muskie. So we'd have something that, that had really good uh, uh, rock and gravel features also, which was unheard of in the flat skip world. When we found a design that we wanted to start working with, something that we, we felt was a good platform that would give us that versatility, that stability, that, that performance, uh, then we had to look around materials. In my background, I spent 20 years in the automotive industry on the technical side of materials. So naturally the first thing I looked at was plastics. Uh, lots of different types of polymers that welded, molded, roto molding. And they all have their own shares of limitations and problems. Uh, they're all very heavy. They all tend to crack if not processed correctly. And uh, you know, we looked at metals, we looked at extruded aluminum, all kinds of different things and what we finally landed on was a fiberglass based composite that was hand laid and it was the answer. Uh, we were able to come up with a proprietary lamination that we use in these boats that is super tough, super light, uh, it's very labor intensive and we're the only folks doing it right now.